Hi YouTube, in this video I will be explaining how to install a 4 wire 30 amp power outlet for a dryer. Now, I've done the most important thing in this video. I've shed off the circuit so that I don't get shot or I don't get electrocuted. Now, there's two types of dryer outlets. There's the 4 wire dryer outlet seen here, which there's four different places for wires to land. There's two places for your highs, one place for your neutral, and one place for your ground. And then there's the three wire dry outlet. With the three wire dry outlet, there's two places for your highs to land and one place for your neutral to land, but there's no place for your ground to land. Now, in this video, we will be installing our four-wire 30-amp power outlet for a dryer. And again, there's two places for your hots. Two places for your hots, one place for your neutral, and one place for your ground. Let's look in our box. So, in our box, we have a bare copper wire. That's our ground. This also may be green at times. We have a white wire. For our neutral, and we have a black and a red wire. That's for our hots. Of course, there's two hots in a dryer outlet. Now, according to code by code standards, wires feeding the dryer must be at least number 10. These wires must at least be size number 10 AWG. On the other end of these wires in the panel, this red and this black should be landing on a 30 amp breaker and this white should be on the neutral bar and this bell copper wire should be on the ground bar okay so now let's look at our outlet this is the front of our outlet this is where the actual cord of the dryer plugs in all right this is the back this is where the wires terminate here's how you know where the wires terminate it's hard to see but if you look here this you'll see green. It you'll see the word green. This is where your ground terminates. If you look up here, there's the word white. This is where your neutral terminates. And on these other two uh strews, on these other two strews here, this is where your hots terminate. It doesn't matter which hot terminates where, you just need to have a hot here and a hot here. So let's get started here. We will start with our ground. You just simply slide in this hole, slide in that hole right there, and just simply tighten down. It's just that simple. All right. Uh, you can use a flat of Phillips number two or number three to terminate these okay i've terminated the ground i like to pull on it to make sure it's in good okay now next i'll terminate the neutral now i've already stripped these wires the same time in the video using these strippers so all right now i will be terminating my neutral in its slots just simply slide it in the hole and tighten down good and tight okay pull on it to make sure it's good now i can terminate the hots there again it doesn't matter which hot terminates where long as you uh just terminate a hot on the one of those hot screws okay slide the black into this hole tighten down S screwdriver's kind of big maybe i should have went with the uh, maybe I should have just went with a uh, number two side. This is number three. Okay. Uh, pulled on it. It's good. And terminate our last one. Uh, okay. Give me a minute. Uh, loosen that up a little bit. It's... All right. Tighten down. 
Okay. And so now the wires are terminated. Now, it's very important that we terminate these wires in the right spot. Because if we mess up, the dryer may not work properly. Or you could cause the frame of the dryer to become hot and a person can get electrocuted. So be careful. Look closely if you're not sure, call an electrician. All right, so now we're ready to put the outlet into the box. Of course, what we're going to do is we're going to put screws, uh, install the outlet with these outer screws right here. Now, if you had a single game box, you would use these metal screws. I don't like the single game boxes because it's just not enough room for that number 10 wire to uh, move around in that box or be in that box safely. All right. Now, I'm going to use my drill to speed up the process here. Okay, and all right, that's one. Excuse me. three and four And we'll put our cover on. A lot of these covers are silver. But this, I'm not going to put the screws in. But that is how you would terminate a dryer outlet. And again, this is the four-wire 30-amp outlet for a dryer. Uh, that concludes the video. And I, thank it, I hope that it could be beneficial to you. And I thank you for watching.